To create great teamwork, you as the leader need to serve your team so they can get on with doing the work that they need to do to succeed. And this model of leadership is called servant leadership. And a servant leader has two primary roles. The first is providing for their team, giving them the things they need, if you like, their rations. And the second is defending the team from the things that are going to stop it working well together and getting its job done. If you like, providing a raincoat that protects them from the rain. In another video, I'll talk about what you need to defend your team against. But in this video, I'm going to talk about the things you need to provide for your team. If you want to enhance teamwork in your team, then there are five things fundamentally that you need to provide. Number one is the physical ability to do the work. Your team needs a workspace, it needs assets and equipment and tools to get the work done. And you need to provide those things for the team and you need to make sure that they are fit for purpose. If your team is frustrated because it doesn't have any of those physical requirements, then you need to fix it for them. Number two, your team needs the things to work with. It needs the materials and the resources. These could be raw materials or partly finished goods. They could be components of any sort. Often in organizations, there are gatekeepers who stand in the way of people accessing these resources. And if your team cannot access them quickly and efficiently, then put on your scavenger hat and go get them. Thirdly, your team needs the knowledge to do the job. You need to brief them effectively. You need to fill them in on the background and the context of the work they're doing, what is required. You need to give them the knowledge, the information and the data that they need to make sense of the task you've set them and to work well together. And number four, your team needs the skills to do the job. If you want great teamwork, then everyone has to feel capable and confident and has to trust the capability and confidence of their colleagues. This means providing your team members with support, with training, with guidance, with coaching, with mentoring, opportunities to develop their skills and their expertise in the direction both that the team needs as a whole and that the individual wishes for their career progress. And finally, your team needs the time to do the job. Now, this will take us to the next video where we talk about what you need to protect people from, which is often other parts of the organization trying to seize their time. But you need to make it easy for them to focus on their work. You need to remove distractions. This means making their lives easier by clearing things from their diary that they don't need to be doing and by speeding their day along. Sometimes this can mean simple things like fetching a cup of coffee for somebody who is deep in the work and just needs a little bit of refreshment. If you can provide your team with snacks, even meals, if they are under pressure and they need more time. Fundamentally, I believe your job as a leader is to serve your team. And one of the most important things you can do in that service is to provide them with the things they need. If you do that, then they can get on with their job and be successful as a team. Please do give us a thumbs up if you like this video. There's loads more great management courses content to come. So please do subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning.